It was often a tumultuous, a yet long road for Doug Ford, but today he was sworn in as Ontario's 26th Premier. Right here on the steps of Queen's Park, I'm with Toronto Sun's Queen's Park Bureau Chief, Antonella Artuzzo. All right, so <laughs> you've been to a few of these before. I have. Let's just talk about sort of the spectacle and the splendor of what you saw today. It was, it was actually very emotional. I saw some lovely things. Uh, you had to be very close, but you could see that Doug Ford actually teared up mm -hmm. when they were talking about um, his oath and the oath that he was about to take. He had his family with him, mm -hmm. his mother was with him, his wife and children. Also, we saw Renata Ford there, which was mm -hmm. a, a very nice touch. She was in one of the seats of honor, mm -hmm. and uh, that was given all their troubles in, in the recent mm -hmm. past. That was a very nice moment. Well, there was probably a lot of the Ford family on their mind was, of course, Rob Bob Ford, rest his soul, uh, the former mayor. Um, this is uh, clearly a family affair, which everything is with the Fords, no question about that. Let's talk a little bit about the cabinet that we saw appointed by Doug Ford. We saw regionality, we saw male-female balance, we saw old guard, a couple of new guard. What's your views on what he's done? Um, clearly this is a cabinet for someone who doesn't want to make a mistake. I think when Mike Harris was elected Premier, uh, I don't know if people realize, he had so much experience already in provincial mm -hmm. government. And although Ford does have a lot of experience in municipal government he, and also in business, he's very eager, I think, uh, not to make mm -hmm. a mistake. And that's what this cabinet tells me. So you see a lot of old guard. You see Vic Fidel, mm -hmm. you see Lisa McLeod, you see names you know, Steve Clark, Todd yeah. Smith, uh, Monty Stable. McNaughton. Yeah. yeah, people who've been here, who yeah. know how to pass legislation, right. who um, are not going to not going to make the kind mm -hmm. of junior mistakes that we expect, yeah. and also. Given uh, Ford coverage, you can expect that you know reporters are going to mm -hmm. do their jobs. They're going to they're going to be looking for those kind of junior mistakes, mm -hmm. and so I think Ford was very much trying to avoid that. He only has two people from the city of Toronto, which I found interesting, and he's one of them. He's one of them. <laughs> uh, but that's a big name. That's the premier. A uh, lot of 905 representation. That's right. The rural communities, as we know, have not been particularly happy with uh, the Liberal government mm -hmm. for quite a while now. They have big issues with wind power and that yeah. sort of thing. So you definitely saw him, you know reaching out yeah. to those communities. So one of the things that we often measure in, in the, our world of media and, and the public in general is the first hundred days in office. So from what we heard from Premier Ford and some, he reiterated many of the things he said on the campaign, he's here for the people, they're gonna, they're gonna look under every rock and corner and try to make sense of these books. What are you expecting out of the first hundred days from this government? Well, because his, his to-do list is not incredibly long, but incredibly intense, he mm -hmm. has to get on it right away, like ending cap and trade. I expect him to move pretty mm -hmm. quickly on things that are going to appease his base, make them very happy. So you're going to see things that are going to try and reduce the price of gasoline, no mm -hmm. question. You're going to see him make moves on cap and trade in general. That's got to go early, mm -hmm. or that's going to be a problem for him, because that was one of his big commitments. I think you'll also see other things. Like I think you'll probably see the education minister address the sex ed curriculum mm -hmm. fairly early on. The, the big things that he promised, that's where I think he's going to go. He wants to keep a very narrow focus. Yeah. Uh, conservatives, as you know, are very happy to run uh, the next time around. <laughs> I know you're looking four that's years right. ahead, but they like to run on the idea of mm -hmm. promises made, promises kept. Mm -hmm. And so I think he's going to be trying his darndest to get that reputation as a promise keeper yeah. right out the gate. Fifteen years the conservatives have been left in the wilderness in Ontario. Ontario. Can Doug Ford commit and make all those promises that he, uh, so many Ontarians want him to keep? We'll find out. Antonella Ortuzzo will be covering every moment of it. Don't forget to log on to Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think and subscribe to our YouTube channel.